All right, let's try to get this in the first try. Um, it's a bit cold and dark out. I figure I'll film this in the basement with my cat. What's up, cat? You gonna leave? Hi. All right. So um, I hope you can hear me because the mic's just kind of laying over there. Today, as you probably tell from the video, we're gonna talk about my first time. My first time snowboarding, that is. Um, Alright, first time snowboarding was probably, I think I was a freshman in high school. And I bought a snowboard the summer before, right? Because I was like, I can get a really good deal on this snowboard because it's the summer. And I was like, I'm sure I like snowboarding, so I just bought it. But I've never been snowboarding before. I never had rented a board or been out. I've used, like, a cheap Walmart board that I got for Christmas when I was, like, 10 in my backyard. But I had actually went and bought a snowboard. I'll actually go grab it and show you what it looks like. I still have it. Here we are with the snowboard. Well, did you know this was going to be an unboxing video, not just a story? Oh, baby. She's purdy. She's real purdy. Come with me. Bitch, it was up to me, I would fuck it up. Real. Fuck everything, bust a nut. Young mutt, never smiles, got a cup. Me want on my flip flow dialing now. Oh, this fits. Fits pretty well in the frame. It's almost perfect. That's back. That's the front. Oh, baby. Honestly, it was a really good snowboard. I need to get some second pair of bindings. That way, my girlfriend, I can teach her, and we can go. Should be dope. Anyways, back to the story. My first time snowboarding. So, <clears throat> my buddy calls me up. He's like, hey, man, you want to go snowboarding? I'm like, sure. But, you know, after I hung up, I had like an oh shit moment. I was like, damn, I'm doing it. This is actually happening right now. And so, what's up, cat? <laughs> Meow. Ugh. Um, so, anyways, he, uh, his mom picks me up because I'm a freshman in high school. And we're rolling, rolling dirty in a Buick Saber from the 90s to Mount Holly. This uh, snowboard actually was made in Holly, Michigan. So, close to home. Not home, though, because I'm better than Holly. Holly's kind of shitty and full of white trash people. Not the point. I know my buddy Stab, well, that watches my videos, lives in Holly. Shout out to him. He's a good guy. Um, so, anyways, his mom picks me up. And, like, before I leave, this is, like, right before Christmas time. So, before I leave, um, uh... My parents gave me my like, early Christmas present, and it's a pair of snowboard gloves that have like, um, like, essentially like splints in them right here, and then like a wrist thing, so like if you fall, your wrist can't do this and break, you know, and so essentially it stops your your mobility of your wrist is like this very you know but um so anyways they gave me this and like I'm thankful I had them I didn't really need them because like I learned when you fall you fall like this if you're gonna fall on like your front and not like this so you don't break your arms or your wrist and so like I did fall a few times like that I guess but like the splints, the gloves didn't fit exactly right, so they would like dig into here. And so I just had like bruises on my wrist for like two or three weeks. It was fucked up. Anyways, we get there. And we go in, and I was like, this is a lot. There's a lot of people right now. Because we got there at like 10.30, which is like when a lot of people show up, even though the mountain opens at 9. And so we go in, get our passes, and um, we get out there. And it's just like this amazing, amazing view. It's just snowboards, snowboarders, and skiing 
shit happening all over and just it's a lot but like it's cool as shit and um so walk over to the bunny hill and strap in one foot and so <clears throat> go over to the rope and like I don't know it felt like for the people that don't snowboard like to go up the bunny hill you strap in one foot and you just kind of like shuffle your way over there and then you have a stomp pad stomp pad and that's where you put your back foot you don't put it in the binding when you're going up and so I got it over to the rope and I was like okay I've heard some shit about the rope how it destroys your gloves and how my buddy that I went with his brother like somehow got stuck on top of the rope and they had to shut it down and like get him off because he was like stuck in the rope but anyways so like I've heard like horror stories I guess of tow rope but uh anyways get up to the rope and I was like all right this won't be this bad and like I was told to slowly grab the rope and so I picked the rope up slowly grabbed it I was going I was like all right this isn't bad and then like get about like three feet and then like lose my balance and fall and then like the rope's running on my board and I was like oh shit it's gonna fuck up my board and then this little like six-year-old kid on skis comes up behind me and like doesn't know what to do so he just keeps holding on to the rope and just like jams his skis into my back so that felt great but like after like I don't know a handful of tries I finally made it up the bunny hill and then after that I never really had any more issues going up the bunny hill on the tow rope it's just like it's a weird thing to get used to and then like it's fine and then so like spent a lot of time on the bunny hill it's not gonna lie I was a bit of a bitch but it's okay had a good time um shit whipped uh, a lot so like I don't know you guys know what shit whipping is but uh so like I was going and then I was like oh shit I'm going pretty quick and like I didn't know how to carve so I was just like going straight and the board was kind of doing this and um then like an edge would catch and so like edge would catch and then you know shit like that and it did not feel good I definitely like hit my head very hard a few times luckily had a helmet though so there's that I'm not retarded so that's always a plus but after like spending the first half of the day on the bunny hill trying to learn I moved over to the ski lift and ski lift ooh, getting on ski lift is like the best thing I don't know why but I had issues getting off the ski lift and if you don't know when you snowboard to get off the ski lift it's weird because like I'm not a fan of heights and then like you have to prepare yourself before you get to like there's like a ramp that you get off on you have to prepare so imagine this is the ski lift you're just like and then um my phone keeps going off sorry and so you have to like hang your butt off the edge right and then you have this foot and um this is your front foot the one that's strapped in your other one's unstrapped because, you know, you did, like, the shuffle thing to get on the ski lift. And then to get off, you stand up on top of the ramp while the ski lift is still going. And you have to shuffle faster than the lift. And then slide down the ramp and then turn with your back foot unstrapped. That's why you have a stomp pad for, like, grip. Right? And so, like, sounds simple enough. But first time doing it, I get off. Just, like, eat shit. And then, like, the ski lift, like, hits me. Like, the chair hits me not the whole lift jesus i'd be dead but uh the chair hits me so they have to stop it and then like i crawl out like i was so oh, god but like i just like kept fucking up getting off the ski lift but going down the hill and stuff and like that was easy and fun and just like i guess like the hardest part about my first time snowboarding was the tow rope and like getting off the ski lift because like going down the mountain is it's easy honestly it's balanced and it's just carving and then ever like i don't know my first time like nothing really bad happened i shit whipped a lot i fell and like those gloves just bruised the shit out of my wrist a lot but like other than that it was a shit ton of fun
Oh yeah, I uh, forgot. Like one of like the best parts, I guess, is like they like sell monster there. Um, and so like this was like when we got lunch that uh, like I don't know. I was like I never really drank energy drinks. I still don't. But like it was just like that exciting moment where it's just like oh you can buy energy drinks, and so like I bought them. So I had like two monsters. All I had to eat that day, like I didn't eat before because I was nervous, and so. I had two monsters and a big ass brownie that was five bucks. If that tells you how big the brownie is, because it was five dollars, it was like like a big ass brownie. And so, sitting on the ski lift, going up, and then I like threw up in my mouth, and essentially like ruined monster for myself, which is good because like monsters, gross, it's disgusting. But um, I ruined monster for myself. And, uh, not brownies though. Brownies are really good. I don't like chocolate, but brownies, that shit's good. But yeah, like, snowboarding is just really fun. And like, if you're watching this and you've never been snowboarding, you should definitely like give it a try. Most mountains will rent equipment to you for fairly cheap. And, I mean, I mean like cheap being like, you can go out and learn how to snowboard for like less than seventy dollars for everything like included and then like it's a lot less if you own your own stuff but yeah just snowboarding is really fun and uh yeah that was like that was my first time wasn't wasn't that bad it was actually pretty good if you like this you know leave a comment leave a like let me know maybe hit that subscribe button hook me up yeah, we'll fuck it up Fuck everything, bust nut Young mutt, never smiles, gotta cut me one On my flip flow dialing 911 I need to pick me up, so come and pick me up So I can pick me up about